1993, a game called Master of Orion was released and was met with a genre-defining review by a game journalist named Alan Emmerich. Emmerich declared the game as, quote, the best that Galactic Conquest can offer, and that the gameplay can be summarized as, quote, 4X, which he would elaborate is explore, expand, exploit, and exterminate. Bad spelling aside, there have been lots of games to flood the newly deemed 4X style of game, including Civilization, which predated Master of Orion by about two years. Civilization has really been the hallmark of the genre since its inception, and is an inspiration for many to look towards if they want to create an involved strategy game. A new game that seeks to bring a fresh approach to the Civilization formula is Hexarchy. But what is Hexarchy, and what makes it unique? Published by Yogg's Cast Games, who also published the fantastic roguelite cooking game Played Up, and developed by Main Tank Software, a two-man team of brothers based in Atlanta, who developed Dragon Saddle Melee, comes Hexarchy, a historical 4X deck building game. Games are fast paced and take less than an hour with card based gameplay that offers deep strategy making every turn have consequential decisions. Inspired by classic games like Civilization, Settlers of Catan, and Hearthstone, Hexarchy sees players take on the role of 1 to 10 factions in a race to 100 victory points to win the game. It takes a very short amount of time before you develop borders with other players and that is where the true game begins. What makes Hexarchy unique is its roguelike deck building mechanic. By paying a cost associated with a card, players can build new units, make new buildings, and even research new technologies making every playthrough feel different. Even though each turn feels consequential, there are ways you can mitigate that bad hand that you sometimes see in deck builders. If you feel like you really need to go all out and play some extra cards, then burn a card and gain more resources to do that. Burning cards not only gains you more resources, but also gives you the ability to get rid of unwanted cards by permanently removing them from your deck, making your deck run more efficiently. The opposite problem can occur where you have too many resources, and you need to use them or lose them. Well, you can always sell your resources for gold, or even use your gold to draw more cards to be able to do more with your turn. Not only can you sell resources, but you can also buy resources from other players to be used as you see fit. Every turn feels like you have everything you need to squeeze the maximum out of each turn as you cover your own tiles and lavish buildings and push to demolish your foes to reign supreme. When it comes to the art in 4X games, you should really never be expecting the most realistic art there is. Generally, stylized art not only makes the game age well, but also makes it more immersive. With that said, I think the art for the game is pretty solid. The units and buildings look alright, and the art on the card takes heavy inspiration from Settlers of Catan. In very 4X fashion, the user interface can be a little bit cumbersome at first, but after going through the tutorial and a few matches, it all fells well enough into place. One wish that I have for the UI is regarding cards that advance a tech tree. Each card that does this just currently lists what the card will unlock, and you can play that card and see what those cards do, and even undo it so you don't accidentally commit, which is nice. But I feel like being able to hover over the cards and just see what it creates would make it an easier method. Reading the tech tree isn't that hard, but I would be remiss if I didn't mention how easy it is in other 4X games to just click a future technology and have the game automate all the research for you. Now I understand there's more complexity in this game as you can't guarantee you'll always play a given card each turn, but maybe giving the ability to highlight where you want to go on the tech tree and then having those cards highlighted when they come to you each time would remove the need to constantly check the tech tree. This isn't really a big knock on the game or anything, and while definitely not necessary, I just felt like it could have a little more ease of use when it comes to accessing research. Hexarchy does a lot right to bring a new twist to an old genre. It was truly enjoyable for me to just mindlessly burn cards as the Roman player so I could build more roads and boost my economy, only to realize that I just burned all my technology cards and I had to deal with the fact that I needed to win soon or else the other players would gain the upper hand. The longest game I played was only about 20 turns and still only about an hour in length. I will say that I never really felt like the civilization I chose had a whole great deal of influence on how I played. The gameplay kind of reminded me a bit of Slay the Spire where, while there can be different hiccups and every game isn't exactly the same, I could go into the game with a certain mentality and not really have to deviate much from it regardless of what faction I was. I never went through the philosophical side of the tree because it just never seemed like I needed to. 
I think understanding what you want to do is key, and being able to burn a unit like a settler when you've gotten your bases set is a great start to realizing that the values of some cards start to fluctuate within the game state. I hope there are more factions that come to the game, because even though I didn't feel like there was really much of a difference, it would still be nice to see more cultures represented. Overall, I think this is a great start for a game that I believe never really set out to replace games like Civilization, but instead enhance the experience of those who just want more. Keep your eyes open for the release of the game on October 19th. But that'll be it for this video, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and as always, be kind to one another. Just real quick, I wanted to thank my patron subscribers and everyone who supports me for putting up another hiatus of mine. I will make sure to be better about things now that I have a better job and have better scheduling and I will look to be a little bit more consistent as well as throw in new types of videos. I will see you guys in the next video.